How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Set. I'm welcome back to another episode of the Europe Universe Alliance 4 Coptimans campaign, um, where we are sort of waiting for aggressive, aggressive, aggressive expansion to die down. Um, there we go. Uh, I think we actually, I was thinking between videos, actually, if we want to be able to take colonial lands anytime soon, we're going to need to, like, know what we want to take. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, uh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna start um, stealing maps from Spain. So yeah, fun. Um, I'm gonna like detach this heavy ship. He's gonna be the one that's gonna go out into the ocean where we can like st see the maps because you have to be in an adjacent tile, I believe. Uh, also, he has 70 with Ethiopia. So, is there any other provinces we could get claim on? Definitely, there is somewhere in here. Just, I guess get that. We already have a claim on that one. Um. No, yeah, we do. I guess that one is fine. Um, let's see. So I was trying to think. Did we ever decide on making Somalia promoted culture or not? I don't remember. We have all those as promoted already. Oh my gosh. My little dog, she's uh, making a little bed for herself on our bean bags behind us, which is hilarious. Okay. Um... I think I already had like lined up all the stuff I was gonna be doing for promoted cultures, right? Like I know I was gonna do Neapolitan, right? Cause that's just pretty good. I believe so at least. Do Neapolitan, do uh, Akatan, do Castilian. Why is Gibraltar, or uh, yeah, Gibraltar's the only Andalusian province left, that's funny. Uh, which ones do we have right now? We have Greek and Romanian, that's it. Wow. Um, we are not going to worry about the North African ones this time because of the fact that they're going to be a vassal long term. I, I think I already went over this before, so I'm going to try to keep this to a minimum. Uh, but well, let's see. So Castilian is definitely one you want to do. Like Castilian is just so good. Um, Neapolitan is pretty good, and out of the Europe, out of the uh, European. Out of the Italian ones, like, I think it's like probably one of the better ones, because they're all just like so small, each of them, which is super annoying, but whatever. Um, so I think Neapolitan is probably one that we'll, uh, we'll have, uh, and then, uh, oh, excuse me. I think Occitan is always like a pretty good one, Francian is always a pretty good one, English is a good one even, you know, so, uh. But that's going to be a ways away, and I'm not sure even at that point how much of that land we're going to really make use of. But, but yeah, I think Catalan will probably be a good one too. So let's see. We're going to have right now. We have five. We have three spots left. So Neapolitan, Castilian, Catalan. We just started Humanist, so we're going to get two more. So that's Occitan and Francian, and then we'll get more over time that we can use for other stuff. So we have so much to do. Uh, I don't even know like what other ones we'd want to do like maybe Muscovite. That's a pretty good one I guess or Polish or or English any of those would be fine But that's like honestly it none of no other cultures are really that good The ones down here are good if you conquer it and stuff which I mean obviously we have to conquer at some point But I don't know I'm kind of like whatever So, I wonder actually, with like Pasai, if we could get to war with them somehow. I think it'd be a little difficult, but there might be a way to do it. Hmm. Also, we should definitely just like hire that dude at least. He's gonna pay for himself, honestly. Um, time to do this stuff. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm just gonna do that. Do that. Do that, do that, do that. Easy money. I'm gonna do this, Tolerance of Heretics, which is really good uh, moving into Europe. All right, hold on, I'm scooting my chair back a little bit. I was, I got, I was pushed myself in between episodes to get closer to the mic, but now I was like too close, so hopefully this is still okay. Um, we should be focused on Abin, we are, good. Okay, what else do we need to do? Or want to do? Really like our coalition to go away, honestly. Printing press. It'd be nice if that was still, you know, a little cheaper, not so ridiculous. We already have it up here in uh, in the Balkans and in Turkey a little bit. Hmm. 
Hmm, we'll see. Okay. No, that's not good. Ask for a contribution, by the way. That's normally decent enough of a thing to do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, I think this is, uh, I mean, it's going pretty well. We just gotta sort of like, kind of figure out what we wanna do next. Oh yeah, I was gonna help out over here. Um, get the good general, go ahead and smash him. Um, so we have Ormas, who has a lot of stuff that we wanna conquer quickly in the near future. I just hate the coalitions. The coalition, it's just one, but yeah. Who is that up there? That's the Pope? That's funny, the Pope popped out of Hanover again. Someone gave him up, gave him some land. That's really funny. Um, I think we should spend some money on something, really. I don't even know what, but I, I guess make a mid-game template. Um, do that real quick. It's good to get mid-game templates uh, rolling out. We get two more, honestly. We need we need more armies. Our force limit is high. We might as well be using it. So let's do that. Crimean peasants. I'm pretty sure I was gonna go diplomatic ideas as well, right? I'm pretty sure that's right. Cause um, I want to be able to cancel Crimea's march ship. That's kind of a silly reason to go a whole idea group just for that. But uh, that's not the only reason, though. I, I assure you. Okay. We already have an army here. Just move them there. Um. Man, I didn't realize I had this many armies actually. Well, so when we build these armies, actually doing this alone might actually help us uh, not have the coalition anymore because the fact that we'll be so much stronger. Um, also, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I don't feel like fighting rebels right now. I'd rather not at least. Um, I kind of want to even just like mothball and lower, lower, uh, lower that. Yeah. Okay. The rebel thing went away. We actually can rival Spain, which is hilarious to me. That we can rival Spain. That doesn't make any sense, honestly. It's not fair to Spain. Oh, that's what we're gonna spend diplo points on. That's how I got on the whole culture thing, is because I was looking at what do we spend our diplo points on? We got extra. Uh, yeah, so I I think Neapolitan is a fine one to do. Like you can't you could technically, I guess, make like Austrian and you know, just convert cultures and same with Aquitaine and Catalan. Uh, but, but Neapolitan is a pretty good one, especially with 43 development there. We'll probably convert Rome to it, you know, it's, it's a, oh wow, actually, I didn't even realize that there's, Bari is 33 and 20, yeah, okay, I'm definitely gonna do this now. Um, it's just a good, a good one to do. Um, so ne Neapolitan will be promoted. I think we should also do, I guess Castilian and Catalan are the other, the other ones that we want to do in the near future. Um, but we can't really get claims on those directly, unfortunately, so... Kinda are gonna have to, like, go to war with France or something. France actually, uh... That's right, hmm. Do we want to claim Defender of the Faith now? That was the other thing that I was thinking about. I think that's probably a fine idea, actually. The tech cost is the only downside, um... But it's pretty good for other reasons. Maybe we'll wait on it, actually. Okay. We can keep how much stored? 1308, so we should be able to not hit our, excuse me, not hit our cap. All right, is there anyone bordering us who's not in the coalition? That's a good question. Mercuria. All right, well, Mercuria, fun knowing you, buddy. Sorry. Have to go. Everything must go. Oh, we have a truce with them. No wonder they're not in the coalition. July of 83, huh? Okay. Um, Ormuz in the coalition. I actually hate you, Ormuz. I hate all of you for being in this coalition. Who's winning? It's still sitting at minus 23 in favor of the Prosids. <clears throat> I 
That's really interesting. So that's quite interesting. So, um, so how much does it take to spy and like take maps? It takes like 50. That's not too bad. Oh gosh, I'm drinking my coffee and I just spilled like a big swath of it on my freaking shirt. Oh, nice, good job, me. Spain is no longer a valid rival. Oh, that was quick. Hey, the Commonwealth is a valid rival. Let's go ahead and uh, insult them. Screw you, buddy. Um, I really hope we get the Treaty of Westphalia, but we'll see. Not too much we can do about it at this point. Oh, wow. They just went down 44% war score. Why? Someone must have pieced out or something. I really don't like that, but I believe it has to be 50 or more to to have the uh, have either side win. So I want this guy, actually, the spy network dude, but he's really expensive. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyways. Oh, now the Commonwealth is no longer a valid rival. Neapolitan separatists. Uh, okay, well, here, just... I hope we don't have to fight them, honestly, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Just, just do that. Sassari and Napoli. Yeah, Napoli is the one. Mm-hmm. Looks like we're probably going to have to... Oh, we have two rivals now. Commonwealth and Spain. Nice. I wonder how long it's going to take for them to disappear this time. I hope Austria... Okay, Austria brought it back to 31. That's good. This is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, guess what? McCurry uh, immediately joined the coalition when they got out of the war. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Oh, the Papal State left the coalition. Okay, that's a good sign. When one person leaves, it almost always means that more are about to leave. And then when more leave, then the coalition is weaker and more leave. So, like, when one person leaves, it normally begins, like, a domino chain effect. Um, hopefully that'll happen here. We'll see. Let's start moving into position down here in the east, in the eastern front, because that's where I want to do my next war, I'm pretty sure. We're getting a little hot up in Europe. Um, all right, at least you got to develop once. Ackerman, sure, whatever. Oh, maybe in, do one of these as well. Okay, so now, it's tech time. Let's go ahead and embrace the, embrace the institution. Right, yeah. Okay. Um, there we go. See, like I said, one person leaves and it starts a chain reaction. Oh, you know what? That was because of the tech, though. The fact that we teched up all at once, we just became like a, a fairly stronger state. What did we actually get from an admin? I didn't even check. Still, yeah, that did it. That pushed us over the edge, which is good. I, why am I hiring this guy? This guy's dumb. Let's hire the Diplo rep guy. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. I, I don't need that guy. I immediately went back on my decision. All right, so yeah, so Ormuz is going to be the next to die in a second tier. We need to make sure that we get across to Ormuz real quick, so otherwise they're going to try to blockade us out. New emperor. Okay, well, what about the... Uh, what's going on with the empire right now, dog? That's what I want to know. Wow, that's a lot of uh, a lot of money. Most of it's reinforcements, though. Well, most of the extra negatives. Rebel Uprising, Neapolitan Separatists. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with those guys um, at one point here. Go ahead and just... Hop over here. I'll transport you manually. Tripolitanian pretender rebels. I don't really care. Deal with that yourself. I don't care who your who your ruler is really. Um so come over here to to Roma. Cause uh well wait, do you have my dynasty? I think you might have my dynasty, in which case I do care a little bit. Yeah, I do care about that actually. Um so yeah, I'll go I'll go deal with that for you. I'm gonna hire a new general, by the way. We do need one. another general. Um we could just get one for free. Oh no, we already did that, I think, recently. Well, oh, we just lost our claim against Ormuz. Wow. Right when I was about to declare. Gosh darn it. If I had just gone a little quicker, I would have been fine, but whatever. Alright, um Oh, yeah, definitely get a claim on that one. So Kilwa, I think we should do like a simultaneous war probably. Go to war with Ormuz and Kilwa at the same time, really, or like within quick succession of each other. 
um, and stuff. So Killwa's up here. They're the only ones with claims until this point. I'm trying to look for more people to release, basically. Um, I got a lot of Diplo points that I want to be spending. So, so we could we could be, you know, we should be trying to vassalize someone. Uh, let's see. Any of you guys up here have a lot of claims? Maybe I could vassalize one of you. Nah, not really. Uh, like Bamanis, if I could release them from somewhere in here, would be really good. But whatever. Um, that's a ways away. Eight prestige from one conversion. That's crazy. Oh my god. All right, that's actually ridiculous. It is so ridiculous that that's how long it's gonna take to to do that. I'm gonna try to fire everyone to get make room for new ones. I mean, we're probably gonna go into debt now because of that, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, that's annoying. That's fine. Just you wait till I get to war. All right, let's go. It's time. Uh, let's go ahead and raise war taxes, and that should help with the income quite a bit. All right, let's go. You want? You ready to go, Killa? You're so dead, buddy. So freaking dead. Hmm. We'll wait for Ormas, by the way. So yeah, so we're making money now a little bit. There we go, that's what I want. Spy Network Construction Guy on the cheap. So otherwise we're never gonna get a claim on Ormas. Wait a sec, does, does Ardalan have claims on Ormas? Oh no, they don't. Ah! Yeah, no, no CB, no claims. Really annoying. Huh. We'll see. Soon enough, we'll get to war with them. Don't worry about it. We'll figure out some way. Uh, what other wars could we be doing right now? Again, I don't want... I think we're a little too hot in Europe right now. Um, Persia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do Persia war. Persia war time. That's probably a good one, actually. Ethiopia, there's a lot of good options here. Okay, okay. I do think we some at somewhere down somewhere down here we wanna like make a vassal to probably just feed the rest of this uh, East African land. I'm fine with that honestly. We'll see. We'll do we'll do something like that. Mutapa. Mbuka, Makua, one of those. Um, we won the siege a while ago. I don't know why I'm not moving. So this is the Zanzibar trade node, which you honestly don't really care about, do we? We want to be capitalizing on it before then, when it's in like the Gulf of Aden and whatnot. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, we have so much of the world left to conquer. It's it's intimidating, honestly. Years of separatism, let's get that. That'll be good to have before we finish this war. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, what else do we want to be doing? I think a Persia war is probably prudent. Let's let's go and go ahead and go to war with Persia. Um what do you have claims on? Like all of them? Good. That's what I want to see. You need to have claims on everything. Oh, hey, let's go kill Kara real quick. Um, yeah, let's go do that real quick. <clears throat> yeah, that'll be good. Kill Kara. You guys will be fine. Just deal with those guys in a little bit. No, hey, go kill those, kill those pretenders. Um. We need another, another one. Oh my god, he's so awful. I guess I just must not be going to war enough. My, uh... Alright, there we go. This one, oh, that's actually, that's pretty good. Let's do that. It's still not great, but, uh... Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's, let's declare war on Persia. I think that's good. Yeah, 
Yeah, so let's see how, how this war with Persia goes and stuff. I'm sure it'll be fine, but... Yep. Um... Yeah. All right, we want the Siege of Killa. Pretty good. Let's keep going. Keep going, honestly. I want to get all the way down to Makua and release them as a, as a vassal. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm, I'm planning on doing. Spain rivaled me. Good luck with that, buddy. Good luck with freaking that. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I feel like if we can make it up here in time, we might be able to help out. Let's see. Tristan Mogadishu ended. We'll probably make an effort to eat them as well. <laughs> Alright, there's the Siege of Lindy. Okay. Okay. Oh, definitely, like, go reinforce that if you can. Oh, we're not going to make it. Ah, and now it's too late. Well, rest in pepperonis. That's not a great battle. Alright, 4th of October will get reinforcements, I guess. We might win. No, we definitely lost. Yep. Alright, cool. Well, whatever. Um... We have to be careful with Persia, you know? They're they're weaker, but they're still strong-ish, and they're still willing to fight, you know? Oh, the Peace of Westphalia! We got the Peace of Westphalia. Oh my god, it's amazing. Okay, so that's really good. Um, that's really good, actually. So I'm going to let that take a month or two to sort itself out, and then we're going to start focusing full sail on... Maybe like trying to become emperor. That could be really, really powerful. Obviously, be really, really powerful. Uh, immediately, the coalition is going to happen again. I forgot about that. Um, which is not great. Not great. I'll give you that. But uh, whatever. Hmm. Feed this to Ardalan. And yeah, feed you to Ardalan. There we go. There we go, we still won the Siege of Makawa, and we won the, won the Siege of that. The Siege of that, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Where's their capital again? It's somewhere up here? I don't remember. Hmm, Persia's capital is always somewhere different because they always pop out of a different part of the Timurids. Alright, so yeah, we uh, are having our coalition reform, which is not good. But again, let them come, I'm fine with that. Alright, so it looks like they have all the electors now. Uh, now we gotta figure out how do we become emperor. That's a little bit trickier of a thing to figure out, but that's okay. We're gonna wait a second. So I want to eat that, 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 that. I want that. There you go. And that. And then I also want to get um, Makua. What's the culture here? It's well, Makua is not in the same group as Swahili. Um, huh. I think I don't want to... I guess I'll just, like, do... 73, 72. So we'll give them Mozambique, I guess. That's fine. Let's do it. All right. So give war reps. Uh, that's going to be a bit of coalition. No, it's, like, nothing with the people that we actually care about. So that's good. All right. Um, do that. Yeah. But we don't want to core that stuff down there. Because that's going to be our new vassal. So manually core this stuff. And then we want to get out of, war, out of war with Persia ASAP so that we can... Well, for one, so that the coalition doesn't fire on us, hopefully. But uh, also, the main thing is just so that we uh, can make that vassal a thing sooner than later so that... We don't have to just sit with uncored land. That's normally not what you want to do. Ah, get rid of that mission. We're not going to be able to do that now for a while. Hmm. Okay. Spain, I don't like you. I don't like you. Uh, oh, hey, we went over on time. All right, cool. I'm going to end this video here. So thank you guys for watching. Please go and leave a like and subscribe for more. Come back next time. Uh, we're going to continue on with this. Uh, probably going to go ahead and uh, just continue eastward and southward into Africa, I guess, and into Asia. 
Uh, I'm a little worried about our coalition, but if it fires, we'll just beat him off again. Uh, that sounded really gross. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.